All right, we are going to get started. So if everyone could uh, put down your pizza. Awesome. All right, so thank you everyone for attending NYVR. Compliments and many thanks to the whole Amazon team for hosting. It's the first time we've had an event at the Amazon space and they are awesome here. And hopefully we can do a couple more. Um, I'm DJ Smith, organizer for NYVR. And uh, can I just get an applause for virtual reality in general because it is awesome. Cool. All right, so we're going to uh, do a couple quick announcements, and then we're going to get right into the programming. Uh, so first, thanks to Jimmy uh, and my company for hosting the video production for all of our events. Uh, we just posted uh, videos uh, from last month's Art and VR, which was one of my favorite events of all time. Uh, so definitely check out the links that are on uh, the Meetup comment site for the last event, and uh, we'll post these once they get posted. Uh, edited. Uh, a couple quick uh, events that are upcoming. So next month, we're going to be uh, back in the Brooklyn Navy Yard with the R Lab. I think we have some R Lab folks in the back somewhere, all the way in the back there. Yeah, so they have a uh, really awesome uh, motion capture workshop um, for a couple days in early April. And then at our event, we're going to have the team uh, the teams that did the motion capture kind of present their work. And then we're also going to be doing a little exploration of volumetric capture. Uh, so that one should be really awesome. Uh, the VR ARA Association has a table right around this bend. So if you're not on the mailing list, just fill out the form. Uh, and uh, Dexter was here, but he had to run. Uh, oh, Dexter, he's still in the house. Um, we're helping the Games for Change folks with their upcoming festival. Uh, I'll have links on the meetup site about them. And uh, the New York Venture Summit's coming in July 9th and 10th, and we're helping uh, spread the word a little bit about that. All right, for tonight, um, we have a little bit of uh, lightning presentations from our demos, uh, and then we're going to get right into a panel conversation really exploring um, how immersive technology will be used for marketing and branding. Um, so I think with that, we'll just kind of get into our presentations. And I want to start with Mark Francis, uh, who's been main point contact for Amazon. And uh, he's been really great um, in coordinating this event. And so just many thanks. And come on up and tell us about Samarian. Thanks, Jose. Yeah, hi, I'm uh, Mark Francis. I'm the product marketing leader for uh, Amazon Sumerian. I'm based out of Seattle, but uh, happy to be in New York. And it's great to see such a vibrant community here. I was excited when I connected with uh, DJ and I had a chance to uh, touch base last year about how do we start collaborating. This is the first of what I hope is many collaborations between us and with people in the room as well. Um, Sumerian is actually going to be in New York at the loft here on a quarterly basis. Today we had our first event, which is a, was Sumerian Day. It was basically a day-long boot camp, introducing folks to uh, the authoring tool, the IDE, and getting started in terms of just learning how to start creating in Sumerian. We're going to start taking deeper dives in different parts of the, the, the service over time, maybe doing something AR-focused, maybe doing something that's uh, avatar and chatbot-focused. Really, depending on what the demand of the community is, we'll structure events that way. So again, um, we launched Sumerian last uh, May as an, a web-based authoring tool to create and publish you know, VR, AR, and immersive applications. Uh, we've been in the market for just uh, under a year and have started to get some good traction. Uh, in particular, um, while two of our main early customers were doing VR applications, which are cool, what we've seen getting the most traction, at least in the short term in the marketplace, has been actually brand engagement experiences in web AR. So it's kind of interesting just to see how the market is growing. We're kind of agnostic ourselves how the market is growing, but really what we want to do is seeing what's happening and then what can we do to make it easy to integrate, whether it's with a AR headset, a VR headset, into a native app, whatever needs the community and, and the market has, we're trying to say how do we take away the, the 
heavy integration work so that folks can creating on focus on creating and developing their application. So happy to have you guys here. Thrilled to see this turnout. I'm excited to see what the demos and the discussion in it as well. And again, uh, thanks for joining us here at the Loft. The Loft is available actually for anyone with an AWS account. You can pop upstairs. It's kind of like a free WeWork space. As long as you have an AWS account, you can use it. There's always uh, Amazon Solution Architects there as well. So kind of like the Apple Genius Bar type feature. There's folks up there to help you uh, address any needs that you might have, not AR, VR specific, but anything in terms of um, AW, AWS services. So again, welcome and uh, DJ, thanks. Great, thank you so much. I